there and welcome back to some more fun to me. It's but for today we're continuing on with our let's play. Yeah, this is episode 141, Task Force 141, Enemy AC 130 above, etc. Ferrari time. Um, Ferrari production showcase. We need a Ferrari production car, so we're going to go for a race car. 2011 Ferrari 458 a Challenge. Because there was a Challenge 458, believe it or not. No, I don't. It comes in a horrible livery. Uh, do we have Ferrari Infinity? Yeah, of course we have Ferrari Infinity. I drove this thing a while ago. Oh, actually, that was quite a good thing about the Williams episode. What? Where Claire's just like, yeah, we hope to keep George on for a really long time, and just literally every single thing with George is just him, like, speaking to Toto Wolf or saying, like, wow, this team is shit. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's it. I think they um, swapped uh, Paddy Lowe for Valtteri Bottas, I think. Um, yeah, I think um, he's basically got the seat as soon as Bottas goes away. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He does. Because he's, like, quick, but he has to drive that thing. Anyways, we have, like, 800 horsepower in our 458 now because I had to twin turbocharge it. I hate when I have to do that. <laughs> yeah, I hate when I have to turbocharge things. Ferrari Production Showcase. The full range of Ferrari's production models are welcome in this automotive dream race. Mugello. <laughs> because it's the track Ferrari owns. Fucking obviously. Ferrari Production Showcase. I wonder what's going to show up to this. I hope there's a Dino. <laughs> I want something really old, but I don't think there'll be anything old here. It'll just be like 458s and... Enzo's, I guess. Probably. I didn't watch Drive to Survive Season 2 apart from that guy I know who was in the Williams episode. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Williams episode was good as well, because they're like, so what are we so what are we missing? Well, we haven't figured out how to make wheel nuts yet. And <laughs> she's like, what? <laughs> like, how do you change the wheel nuts from year to year? Do you not just use the same wheel nuts all the time? Well... I assume they keep trying to make them lighter or better yeah, for pit stops or something. Like, if you can't figure out how to make new ones, then why don't you just use the old ones until you figure out a way to make new ones? I just had a thought. They didn't... I think there might have been something to do with wheel nuts becoming like a listed part or so. No, like a standardised part or something. Maybe? I don't know. I, I Standardised parts are weird. I remember there being talks about standardised parts for stuff that has little to no effect on performance, but teams were spending millions on to find every tiny game. Yeah, yeah. Which... I hope you don't get into a crash at Magellan, yes. Uh, well, I don't know if 20 of the best drivers in the world can do it. I don't think there's a problem if Mail does. 20 of the best drivers? They crashed in a straight line, so maybe not. I was going to say, Lance Stroll and Nicholas Latifi are on the grid, so... Man, bless oh, him. I don't, I don't Italian think Jesus. that bad. He's not that bad, but I don't think he's one of the best drivers in the world. I only take Stroll because people take the piss out of Stroll. In all honesty, do you want me to be really controversial? What? I'd have kept uh, Stroll over Perez. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> I'm not even lying. I know Perez is, you know, whatever he is, but you don't really need two experienced people in the team, you know. Yeah, um, also, well, okay, Perez did actually save the team, and also paid for a lot of the workers. Yeah, but that only gets you so far. Salaries. Ah, uh, good. You know what I mean, like, that you can only say that for so long. Yeah, I It's like Sebastian true, Vettel but... got Ferrari to where they are at the moment, considering at the start of the hybrid era they were shit, but I mean... You know. Well, I don't know, they came into... How do I unsubscribe? I like Checo, I just want to personally... My god, why can I do 190 in fourth gear? What is... The, this is supposed to be a race car! What is this? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, no, I, I, I rate Checo, I just, you know, I, I've kept Stroll. Stroll has more points. I know it gets luckier, but, you know, look kind of helps. Look at Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> oh, it's like that uh, that tip uh, I heard, where um, if you're hiring people for a job, just throw one of them out randomly. You don't want to hire an unlucky person. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, to an extent, you've got to be lucky in Formula 1. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Look like, at Nicholas and Tiffy. <laughs> I think Luck he won... I think I've looked into his career. I think he won one race in, like, his entire life or something. I know Tatiana Caldron's won, like, one thing, and that's it. She did quite good at Le Mans, to be fair. I mean, you know, an all-fair, you know. Well, that all-female team, considering they were all rookies as well, they did really well. Yes. Uh, it's like, uh, Latifi's won a bunch of races. Oh, is he? Um, I might only in F2. Problems, but... Oh, yeah, he was, like, second in F2 or something, wasn't he? Yeah, I mean... Okay, yeah, never mind. He'd been there for three years. Yeah, it's sort of the bad sign when you've been in Formula 2 for a while. I do like that, though, how um, in 2018, three rookies come in, take the top three spots of the, of the championship, and all move to F1. Yeah. And just, like, ruin everyone's day. Yeah. But, yeah, because it was... It, who won in 2018? It was Russell, it was George. Albon, yeah. and... Lando, Norris, right? second, yeah. yeah. Lando, then Albon, yeah. I rate Lando. Lando's good. He only won one race that season. I rate fucking Carlos though. I think Carlos is fucking top man. Yeah. Whether he'll be allowed to shine or not remains to be seen. We'll see. Mhm. Mm but... Yeah, I don't know who would be my favourite currently. I don't know. Kimmy probably. To your chagrin, I like Kimmy. <laughs> How's life going so far? Well, in this 23 years of life, I've accomplished absolutely nothing. Boost, how's your 18 years going? <laughs> uh, 17 still. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I need to figure out birthday presents because I'm getting asked and I have no idea what I want. Bottle of vodka, some sleeping tablets. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm joking. Probably not. Yeah. I don't um, know. A new car. <laughs> That was an ironically. Tell them to get you a ZZW30 MR2. You no, can, I'm like, just gonna, upgrade I'm gonna, backwards through the MR2 line. <laughs> no, I'm just going to cut the front sway bar off and hopefully that'll give me mid engine <laughs> handling. Oh, yeah, I think the AEW 11's available in Horizon this week again. Oh, I forgot that was a thing. It is, yeah. That, that, the new update has literally just bought back a bunch of, like, cars that we wouldn't have really wanted but because they've got Toyota badges people rate them I say that the ISF's coming and I like the ISF so RCF yeah, it also doesn't so have much. a Toyota badge yeah, close enough do you know what I'll never get about Forza and Lexus what why did they drop the Nürburgring edition for the standard elephant um that's a good question Boost get a PLP 50. He can actually. He's still making um, Yeah, I could. It's Electric just, uh, ones. More, Imagine how more... terrifying that is. Oh, my dad would probably want me to get one, to be honest. Oh, God. I don't think he, he... would. Oh, no. Um, what was it? He found this. Let me see if I can find it. Unless your parents are like my parents. Where they like actively wanted me to get a sports car because they were like, "Why are you buying a saloon car already? You're not that old. Get a sports car." I was trying to get pushed towards the Alpha GT, I think. But, I mean, I like the GT, but me. Yeah. There was a Busso V6 one that was cheap, but I think the other side of it was made entirely of rust. So, and also Busso V6s get like 16 miles to the gallon. So, good evening, Roman. Oh yeah. Or Romain. Like Romain Grosjean. The best driver. Yeah, you see you can't say top 20 drivers in the world when fucking Grosjean exists. No, Grosjean's good. Yeah, he was good for one year. What do you mean for one year? He's still good now. No, he's not. He's in a house. You can't prove he isn't. <laughs> I mean, the house is ass, but even still. For all you know, it could be the worst car on the grid and just Kevin and Grosjean are so good they're dragging it up. <laughs> to second worst. It probably... I mean, anything with a Ferrari engine is probably the worst car on the grid, right? So, Haas and Alfa Romeo, because they've dropped like a stone from where they were. Well, there's, they reckon that from the from last year's Q3 mode to this year, 
uh, they've dropped a hundred, well, essentially a hundred horsepower. They're sixty horsepower down, and Mercedes made a forty horsepower gain. Yeah. So like a hundred horsepower down on Mercedes. Maybe George Russell is just really shit. <laughs> He's been fooling the world. The Williams is actually like the third quickest car or something. <laughs> I also like the troll that now everyone's left Renault. Renault are just like, right, we'll just add power. <laughs> yep. Get a Jazz. I would get a Jazz, but they don't have leather. It's literally the only reason I don't want a new Jazz. I'd rather have a Honda E, even if the electric range is abysmal. But it looks cute, which is like more than most electric cars. It's like a Renault Zoe. The range is excellent. But would you really want a Renault Zoe? Really? Would you really want to do that to yourself? The car called Zoe. I'd want a Twizzy. Zoe's the name of, like, the pretty girl from school. I mean, come on. Yeah. Yeah, you say you'd want a Twizzy, but it'd get nicked every time you, like, parked it anywhere. Yeah, that'd be fine. I wouldn't have to deal with it then. Is there 12 manufacturer events left? I've got no idea. No, I want the, um, the F1 Twizzy. Ah, oh, hell yeah. I've got to find the website. Um, how do I set this to English? Neither Bratsu. What's the shorthand for English? Is it just a yen? Yes. There we go, good. Because it was set to German, so I had to... Which is D, for some reason. D, yeah, because Deutsch. Deutschland! Sayo. Boost, you're getting hired by Williams next year because you're clearly the next Adrian Newey. Uh, totally, yeah. I mean, he's probably better than their current designer. That guy got, like, fired halfway through Drive to Survive from what I remember. Yeah, uh, well, Paddy Lowe, yeah. Because he was shit. <laughs> well, basically, he went from Mercedes back to Williams and was like, I'm going to do what I did at Mercedes to your team, only Williams didn't have the budget to do it. Who really before... wants a Renault instead of, except of the clear V6 and Alpine? Yeah. I don't know. There's been cool Renaults before. Mm hmm. I can't remember any of them. Oh, the Renault Spider. There you go. That thing's cool. It's also ridiculously expensive these days. Which is a shame. Because I quite like them. Yeah. How can I Oh, yeah. Them? I've just been reminded I need to do a personal statement. I'll finish it. Oh, are you applying for a job or some shit? University, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I never applied for uni, so... I was, like, the, only, I was the only person in my college that didn't, because I was like, I, no, I'm not going anywhere. To be honest, I don't actually want to go, but it's sort of just like... I feel that they got me to write a personal statement at some point, and I literally just put on it as just like, if I do this for another three years, I'm going to actually hang myself. <laughs> <laughs> so they were like, okay, Oh, don't no. Because <laughs> I, <can't. laughs> I don't want to do computing. It's really boring. I'm just hoping I can show for my YouTube channel in my personal statement. Look, man, I got a, I've got a qualification in games development. Hire me. Yeah. I built the best drifting game on the planet. Do you know how good I am? Yeah, not very. My racing game was built in RPG Maker. Because <laughs> I couldn't figure out Unity. <laughs> that sounds like you. <laughs> yep. I know, I wish... Um... You'd managed to unscrew a, like a bolt with a hammer before you'd learn how a ratchet works. I built a computer in five minutes. I had no fingers left afterwards. I actually started bleeding halfway through it. What? I had to go in the accident book. What? Because I cut myself on, like, RAM or something. How do you cut yourself on RAM? I think it was RAM or something. I don't know. How? I don't know. I think I've that feeling. Hell yeah. Yeah, no, Unity was bollock, so RPG Maker. I'm telling you, man, you want to make a spiritual successor to Micro Machines, which I think is what I made, then uh, that's what you do. 
I think it's micro machines because there's micro machines and my micro maniacs, and I get them confused. The late night has had a bunch of weird video games. Tell me how they drive on the East Coast home. That's what I was going to put as the string top, but I figured it would be too long. <laughs> so you went with I can drive as well as CJ, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, I can drive as well. Well, I did want to go with uh, the other one that's even longer. Well, don't <laughs> roll the damn car over and blow us all up in flames. <laughs> nice. Show me how they drive on the East Coast, homie. Get him Ryder's car. Tell me, CJ, why'd you bother coming back? My family, the homies is here. Who was always here for? Yeah, well, now I'm back, and I know what I've been missing. Whatever. You got five minutes, I'll be cutting you like a DJ. I don't even know what that means. Uh... Hmm. I don't want a rider to give me a haircut. Why does more into that shirt? I don't know what that means. I think it would. I think shirt was like weed or something. Or crack. I can't remember. Trevor's I'm not. Trevor. I'm not going to. Well, I know he's boiling something. He says something about damn water. I can't remember. I think that's weed related, I'm not sure. Or like PCP or something like that. Follow Boost and Ethanol for tw on Twitter for random pictures of stuff. I know, Boost has been getting active on the old Twitter again. I've been trying to, yeah. I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Mostly because when I start talking on Discord, no one ever pays attention. <laughs> so I figure I might as well yell into the void and hopefully expand my viewer base. I occasionally pay attention to you on Twitter. The problem is I refuse to have that top tweet shit on, so I just have stuff as time goes on, so if like something catches my eye then I'll reply to oh, it. Oh yeah. On. Well, that's, that's the thing, Twitter should always be sorted by new or whatever. Silverstone Racing Circuit for the Silverstone International Circuit. Known for Ferraris, I guess. Does Ferrari win at Silverstone a lot? Not recently. Uh, Didn't Lewis Hamilton have a record for like winning eight times in a row or something ridiculous? Ah, uh, let's see. British Grand Prix. British Grand Prix. Ah, uh, so they. Yeah, here we go. Winners by year. Uh, Vettel won in 2018, but otherwise. And Ferrari won in 2011. Who the fuck was driving for them in. Oh, it was like Alonso, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. Alonso and Massa, if I remember correctly. Mm. Fernando Beyond is faster than you. <laughs> That's not my favourite thing, though. Um, I just my love, I love the fact that they gave him, of all people, the fucking the, the most fucking northern guy. <laughs> Race engineer. It'd be like oh, giving yeah, them, like fucking. Roman Grosje on someone Scottish with Haas. Be amazing. Maybe that's David what Williams Coulthard needs, doesn't. Scottish people. Oh god. David Coulthard can't wear a headset and feels them. It won't extend <laughs> far enough. He needs one from like a Minecraft character. I was gonna say, the distance between his ears is like... perplexing. <laughs> I think I remember that Coulthard is like, like weird thing when like Nico Rosberg's wife was like on a live stream with him and he randomly got up to show his boxes or something <laughs> like he was about to start whacking off to a bathrobe <laughs> <laughs> Coulthard really is one of those drivers that you forget exist and for how long he existed as well because did he park partner Kimi I don't even remember uh, yeah, he did for a year or two. Yeah, because he was McLaren forever, wasn't he? And then, didn't he go to Jaguar or some shit? Or was that Webber? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it was Webber. Webber was Jag, yeah. Yeah, because he... Webber's weird, though, because he went from Jag to Williams and then back to Red Bull, which was Jaguar. Yeah. Yeah, 
I think about 2000s when my brain actually started paying attention, so I definitely remember Mark Webber. Who was it? Do you want to know with, with one of the weirdest things? What? I think as a kid, my favourite driver might have been Barrichello. Yeah, no, I... I, I, I specifically... Rem did, Barrichello was in the BMW Williams at some point, right? Um... Uh, or was it Mass... It was one of the drivers in the BMW, and it wasn't Montoya. I was like a mass because I was like a massive simp for the BMW. Because fun fact, I think I've discussed this before. Until I got to about ten years old, I was a massive BMW person. They were like my favourite cars for some reason. <laughs> Actually, I know exactly why. It's because as a kid, I for some reason always wanted an E46 compact. <laughs> I looked at that and was like, yes, that. Right. Yeah. It's a, it's a weird it's a weird childhood when you grow up hating the 996 but loving the 46 combat. <laughs> Are you thinking of Ralph Schumacher? I don't think it was Ralph Schumacher. Nick Heidfeld? No. We have like Weber. a giant poster on a wall of someone smoking a cigarette or something. Jensen Button. No, it definitely wasn't Jensen. Uh, Mark Jean. Maybe. <laughs> I've got no idea. All I know is there's a big sim for BMW Williams and we had a photo on our bathroom wall of like a BMW Williams driver smoking next to a, one of the cars. Antonio Piz Pizzonia. Yes. <laughs> My favourite driver. <laughs> you know, he was really second to Schumacher back in the day, you know. 20 entries, 8 points. Yeah, I don't remember being a massive Schumacher fan. That was like the worst bit of it. Oh, I would be. I, I would have been back in the day. Because here's the thing I, that I hate about myself is I love dominance. In yeah, sports. You see, that's the thing. I quite like it. It's like Lewis Hamilton. I Don't get me wrong, I don't agree with all his opinions and shit. But I really want Lewis to win his 7th World Championship. Fuck yeah. Which is interesting because I remember you complaining about Red Bull dominance. Yeah, I don't like Sebastian Vettel. I like... <laughs> What's wrong with Vettel? He's funny. Because Rich Energy's better. <laughs> <laughs> he drives a Ferrari now. I don't care Ferrari shit. Although I like Charles Leclerc, so... Charles Leclerc could really win a fucking championship. He really could if they give him a right car. Oh, that, yeah. That kid's fucking special. Have you seen that F2 race where he goes for a pit stop halfway through? No. He did an F2 sprint race. It was on like 20 laps on the Bahrain short circuit. Hmm. And he basically pulled a massive lead, pitted like 10 laps in for new tyres, and then did another sprint past everyone. Hmm. It was insane. I know, the fucking, that guy is something special. He the is, yeah. There's a, people may criticise Ferrari for letting go of that and all that. They know fucking Leclerc is the man. Hmm. He really is. Anyways, that is it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time, we're going to be taking a look at. The BMW GT Race Car Showcase. Catchy name. Join us for that. Until then, farewell.